Now, I'm going to show you uh, a fly. This fly is called the bootlace dun. Now, the reason being, now many, many years ago, and I, I'm looking at maybe at least 25 years ago, and it might even just a wee bit, a couple of years more than that, uh, there was a gentleman that came to a local club, Fly Dressers Club, and his name was John Betts. Now John was American tyre, uh, but he used to tyre a lot of synthetic type dry flies, and he used a, and that, that's a synthetic fibre called Xelon. Now, it was just a very, I don't have any to show you, but basically it was a synthetic fibre, much like a kind of Antrony. Uh, it was very good for colouring as well as, uh, he used to colour it with pens and such to suit the, the type of fly he was trying to copy or trying to imitate using the Xelon. Now, a friend of mine's a cobbler and he says that uh, Zelon was used in bootlaces, so I went to his shop and I bought, this is the original bootlace I bought and uh, it's a nice dark grey and I thought well I'll give it a go see what we can do with it and basically I'm still using it, I mean it was a, a pair of laces, I've only got maybe 18 inches or so left and this, the original cord, I've obviously got some bit of piece here that I've been using and this is another piece that which I've brushed together. Now this boot lace came from a Scottish company, uh, Patents, but as far as I believe it's no longer here anymore. And I bought um, quite a length from them direct so that I could tie quite a few of these flies. But this is the original uh, boot lace that I used. Now the flies I was tying was really small. As you can see, you can hardly see it. It's on the vice here. Now this is a, this one here, it's a size 24, this is as small as I really go, I don't go much smaller than this, especially for a dry fly, uh, I basically can't see it, so, but I can still see this fly. Now it's a, you can see this one's a, the TMC, it's 2487BL, which is, as you, it's a shrimp candice pupa, but I liked it because of the strength of the, the wire, uh, I like the shape, it, it's good for tying dries, I, I caught lots of fish on it and I've got actually a lot, a lot of them, so I have a lot of them over the years. I've, the main two, I mean I made three sizes, 22s, 20s, so on, but the smallest I tied was the 24, and so this is what I'm going to tie, I'll show you anyway. Now, to actually form or make the, the, the material into a sort so you could use it as a wing, what I did was, you just uh, taking there was a core inside a cotton core, you had to just pulled them out. So basically what I did was I just pulled out the fibres. Now, enough to form the wing. Now there's, a, there's two in that, I put out two together there, but it comes out a single strand. Now four, around about four to five was fine. So, and the other thing, I did buy it straight, meaning straight on a coil, on a spool. Uh, I preferred it actually as a bootlace because it comes off all crinkly like this, you see. So what then I did, uh, basically either you could use Velcro or just brush it using an old, this is an old toothbrush that I've cut. And I just brush it together. So I just brushed it out. I just keep going. So obviously I, what I not I prefer to do is actually sit it on my, my desk and brush it, it's much easier. Then, but you can't see me doing that, so I'm just going to show you. I just kept brushing till I was happy, and uh, and the length was there. So there we are. That was enough to form the wing. So we sat on my desk. So I'm going to zoom in so you can actually see the the, the fly. Now, the thread I'm going to be using is a light cable. That's an eight O. Now you can use a finer thread, I'm quite happy to use it. Oh, I mean I, I know sometimes this could be quite heavy but for this size of fly but I usually just get by with it so. Now it's quite simple to tie the bootlace done. We start at the eye, best to put a layer of thread along the shank, then come back up and stop about maybe 2mm from the eye. You get your bootlace, then we tie it quite long so I can, I'm, I'm going to trim it 
So I need a, a decent length just so I can turn it at the back. Two or three turns to start and then trim it at an angle. So it'd be an angle cut kind of towards over the back or just simple like that. Oops. Need a tapered cut so that when you wind over it you get a nice you get a tapered body. So as you go towards the back it should start to taper. Just take your time. You get this point here. So there's your body, nice and tapered. The tail fibres, it's up to yourself what you like to use. I'm using here just some micro fibbits. That's what I used in the original fly. So two to three is fine. Let's trim. Tail length, round about say 10 mil or so. Just for a fly this size, about a centimetre or so. Tie it on top and come underneath with a turn. Use that turn to help separate the fibres. Then lock them in. Now, if you can see that uh, they're split, they're so fine it's quite hard to see. Now, trim the remains, the length of the body. Now, a fine, you're looking for a fine dubbing. Uh, and you can use anything a wool, a rabbit, anything dyed yellow. In this case, I'm using a yellow wool. Um, it's just a yellow wool I've got here. I'm just basically running my nail through it. Want a nice fine fibre. You can just use the thread. Thread works itself, but I like a wee bit of texture in the fly. So we slide that up. Start at the back, just tighten it up. Just work my way up, stretching it out. I've had lots of fish over the years in this fly. Grey body, hair's ear, any fine dubbing. Works really well. Now to get to the wing, as you can see where I am, I just lift the wing towards the back and then I just put dubbing in front. Stroke back the fibres and do a turn in front of the fibres. Now what I'm going to do here is just put a wee tiny bit of varnish onto the thread. And then I'm going to whip finish. Now don't be fussy with the fly, it's, it's really nothing, there's not much of it, but it works. So, so we whip finish and trim away. As I say, I keep the length of the wing so I can trim it at the back and line with the back of the hook. So a straight cut along the back here. And then I just tap it with my, my finger and that puffs out these fibres. Now, it's a very simple flying. You've got to gink it up. You've got to basically, uh, I'll just put the tail here, uh, Gink it up, I use whatever floating you have. I use muslin, to be honest with you. Uh, as I say, it's a very simple fly. It's very good for uh, both brown trout and grayling. Grayling love this wee fly. So there we are. It's a wee boot lace done. Doesn't look much. I know it doesn't look much, but you should try a few. Just change the colour of the body to suit. I've always used my, I mean, the, the fish are just snipping to the surface. Uh, this is one of the first flies I go towards. Uh, having a mole fur body or body on it or a natural fur as well as a yellow. These are the main colours for any sort of small duns that's coming off. And you even give the impression of small uh, like green fly type flies. Uh, they, they take it for that. So Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that and that's the bootlace done.